Hello friends, thank you for joining me today. I'm Ansi and this is my art channel, Ansi's Artistry. Today, I'm going to be experimenting on a canvas size 16 by 20 inches. Um, it's going to have a white base and I've chosen some pinks and purples and magenta for this painting. I've already checked if this canvas is level and yes it is. Now I'm gonna pour my base paint, spread it around the canvas and I'll be right back. Paint. The base paint is Flow Acrylic by Artist Loft and this paint is mixed with um, Floatrol and water. Um, all of my paints are mixed with Floatrol and water and they have the same consistency. I've already popped all of the air bubbles in here and now the next step is to layer these paints. Before I layer the paints, I would just love to say thanks to all my new subscribers. Um, it really means a lot to me and if you're new here please do hit the subscribe button it's a great way to support my channel I would really appreciate you hitting that subscribe button um, okay let's get started as I go I will mention what is the name of the paint and what brand it is so the first one I'm going to use is the light magenta by artist loft Next is the Deep Magenta by Artist Loft. This is the fluorescent pink mixed with a little bit of iridescent medium. Um, and I believe this is from Artist Loft. Um, I will still mention all the paints and the brands in the description below. Next is Deep Violet by Liquidex. And then I'm adding a little bit of silver by Deco Art. Um, for extra contrast in there. mix of a pink shade. I don't even remember what colors I added in there but it looks good. This 
one is more like a coral color. And the last one is Quinacridone Magenta by Liquidex. I love this color. Okay, I'm putting this color on the top because I want more of that color to um, show up in this painting. Um, let's pop all these air bubbles. There we go. And let's start blowing this paint out. This looks pretty as is, but I'm going to torch a little bit here and play with uh, the paints a little bit here because it's a little bit more white than the others and we'll see how it goes from there. So torching what it does is it gets, you know, uh, pops all the bubbles and gets the paint from underneath to uh, show up. Um, if you leave the painting for a little while it will start showing up but if you think you know you need a little bit of extra contrast on it the, um, the heat helps. I'm really in awe of this painting. I don't know what I have to fix here. Everything looks perfect. I just fixed all my sides now I'm gonna just scrape that extra drips better on the side of the canvas because these paints are going to pull the paint from on top of the canvas um, and then ruin the composition so let me bring you down for a close-up now here we go this painting turned out really pretty the contrast between the pinks and the magenta and the white is really, really pretty. And I'm gonna finish this painting off with resin. And it'll be like a glass-like surface. I'm excited about this painting. You see a bunch of cells in so many places. There's one there. So I had two metallics, one is the silver and the other one um, fluorescent pink mixed with the iridescent medium. So those two are going to react with the paint to make those cells there. Well, if you do like this video, please consider subscribing if you haven't yet.
and definitely give me a thumbs up. That's it for today. I'll see you in my next video. Thanks for being here and take care. Happy pouring!